Hey guys, okay now, so as you know we've already now gone through half of 2014 and um, yeah as you know time flies when you're doing stuff, whether you're having fun or you're doing whatever you need to do, you know, at certain times, there comes certain times where you may end up being stressed out and some days it just doesn't feel like your day and even weeks it's not even your week at certain times but you know i've been experiencing a lot of that lately and the past week has definitely not been my week because i had to deal with a few things and um yeah it's been a little bit stressful because i had to sort of things out and i know i mentioned before i haven't really had time to make any other videos but you have i know you have been seeing quite a few quite an amount of videos from me making my cd updates because um, despite there not being as many new releases for this year as there was last year there's i've had been buying quite an amount of the old stuff so but i've got another update for you all and before i say that, do my go through my next lot of cds i'm gonna have to say that I'm go I've decided I'm going to make a top 10 albums for this year so far and then at the end of the year the idea is I'll do a top 15 all together so, so you get to see a bit from me now so I'm going to go f through some more CDs now and the first one up here is Sonata Arctica's Stones Grow Her Name now this was their previous album they released like as you saw a few videos ago I bought their new album or their latest album which came out this year Pariah's Child now this is the second album I brought from them this year and um, I have to say it's actually quite a great album this one is and um, it's got some great songs like the opener only the broken hearts make you beautiful and there's another great songs like losing my insanity got I have a right alone in heaven the day you know it's got some all great songs on here so this was their last album which came out a little over two years ago it came out in may of 2012 so only a little over two years old next here i've got lamb of god's ashes of the wake now i finally managed to get this one i didn't have time to getting around to getting all their stuff but um yeah I, I only have the first two left to get now from them so it's a great album song memorable well-known songs like later rest hourglass now you've got something to die for and um the faded line the Murta, and what i've become they're all great songs as well so definitely a must hear if you haven't already this is ashes of the way and this here is Ed Guy's Gold Edition Volume 2. It's got two of their albums from their earlier days. The, the Savage Poetry and Mandrake. And there's also a, a bonus CD with them um, featuring their um, EP from the Painting of the Wall single, which is a song on Mandrake. And there's also like a few edits here and a couple of live songs. Yeah, this has got a huge book inside. I'm not. It's kind of hard to show you, but yeah, yeah that, that, that's a page of one of the band here. So, yeah, I'm just trying to whiz through this one. And last year I got it's Ed Guy's Hellfire Club, released in 2002. It's my favourite of theirs I've heard from them so far, and the album that came after this rocket ride on planning on getting next after this so um yeah i know that's a fan favorite and this is also my favorite so far i've got some great songs like mysteria and the 10 minute epic the piper never dies and the two songs they released they had as videos for were king of fools and lavatory love machine so as i showed you here before sonata arctica this one is what i bought I bought this yesterday after I'd been looking for around for like last couple of months trying to find this and 
managed to get this so anyway I'm going to be uploading a um, top 10 songs so far now so I'm going to be putting that together and it shouldn't take too long so thank you and then on next I'm going for the I'm now saving up for Soundwave next year and um, then I'll be doing some um, I'll be getting two more new releases that those will probably be the last ones this year Dragon Forces Maximum Overload and Opeth's Pale Communion so I know there's been the other stuff I've been needing to get but I've decided that I'll just get them all the stuff I want as I can so thank you and I'll see you next video